Hey y'all, it's Rob here with Combat Self-Defense, and if you've followed my channel for any amount of time, you know I'm pretty skeptical about the role of kata in martial arts, and their ability to develop someone as a fighter. Or at least I did. I recently changed my mind about kata, and now I see that they can be very useful. I have found a use for kata that isn't some vague reference to fundamentals, and no, I'm not talking about bunkai either. I'm talking about a real reason to do kata. Interested? Stick around. So by now, we're all familiar with the excuses our instructors give us for doing kata. They develop the basics. Not really. You can learn a lot of really bad habits if you perform kata too much. Well, what about bunkai, or the art of extrapolating techniques and movements from the kata? Sure, that's a good enough justification, but not a reason. The fact of the matter is, kata don't teach you how to fight. They just don't. If you took two totally untrained people and had one of them only do kata for a week, and one of them only shadow box for a week, I'll put my money on the shadow boxer. Kata are just not an efficient method of teaching people how to fight. But maybe that's okay. Maybe not everything in the martial art has to be about fighting, or at least not about fighting another person. Recently, and for reasons I'm not gonna go into in this video, I started having panic attacks. Life got really difficult and I was having trouble coping with it. I would wake up trembling with an upset stomach and be basically unable to do anything until it passed. This could last for a few minutes or a few hours depending on how bad the shaking was. I felt like I lost total control of my body. And as much as I wanted to train, I just couldn't. I started therapy and that helped me emotionally, but it didn't help with any of the physical symptoms. So honestly, I was worried I'd have to shut down the channel and take up something outside of martial arts, like Aikido. I'm joking. But in all seriousness, it wasn't a good time. And in a moment of desperation and just wanting to do anything related to training, I started doing a kata. And son of a bitch, wouldn't you know it, the trembling stopped. To be able to perform the kata the way I wanted to, the way I had learned it, I had to stop, take a deep breath, tell my body what to do, and hyper-focus on making it perform exactly as I wanted it to. I exerted ownership over my body by using the movements of the kata. I like to take my time when I do my kata. I like to really sit into the stances and feel the tension in my muscles, releasing as necessary and moving on to the next step, one beat at a time. It helps me focus and again, take control of my body. In therapy, they call this a grounding technique. The fact of the matter is, unless you willingly step into a ring or cage, or you do it for your career, most people are never going to use their martial arts self-defense training. Or if they do, it will be in a very rare and easily avoidable situation. But man, depression, physical illness, mental illness, those are things that come for us all. Those are things we have to fight against every day. Some of us less so than others, but we all eventually have to confront our own bullshit at some point or another. And if the goal of martial arts training is to enhance the quality of your life, shouldn't that extend beyond punching and kicking another human being? What about when your body rebels so strongly against you that you'd be more of a danger to yourself than to your opponent? What about when you can't find someone to train with? Do you just not train? Martial arts is about fighting, but it's not always about fighting someone else. Sometimes it's about fighting against your own brain against the dark side of yourself that tells you you can't do this and you should just give up and stay in bed. So no, Kata isn't teaching secret techniques to apply in a fight, but that's okay. Maybe that's not the goal. Maybe the old masters knew that the most important fight of all was the one inside our own head, and they passed down this choreography to give us a way to cope with that. They gave us a grounding technique. The only goal of martial arts training is combat, but the opponent isn't always external. Sometimes the real fight is with yourself, and anything that gives you the edge over that opponent is useful and is worth practicing. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to subscribe, tap the notification bell, like, share, and leave a comment. This has been Rob from Combat Self-Defense. I want to thank you for all the hard work. 
Thank you for the hard work yet to be done, and I'll see you next time.